In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to make your lines more stable when drawing digital art. Stabilization, or smoothing as it is sometimes called, can be found in many digital art applications. In some applications, it's accessible in the properties. In others, it's a property in the brush editor. Krita even has a dedicated dynamic brush tool with some smoothing controls. You can apply smoothing properties to any brush. In some applications like Krita, smoothing is a global setting you enable and disable for all brushes. In many other applications, you can apply it on a per brush basis and save smoothing to individual brush presets. I'll select a fully opaque hard edge brush, and let's take a look at the smoothing properties we can add to it. Depending on the application you are using, you may have a few different types of smoothing available. The names in your application might differ, but the behavior should be quite similar. Moving average is one of the most common smoothing modes. It causes the stroke to lag behind the cursor by a certain distance. The strength slider controls how much distance or smoothing is applied. At a high value, you will get very smooth strokes. But if you draw too quickly and don't wait for the stroke to complete, you will only get partial lines. This property can also smooth out the appearance of jagged or wobbly lines. The thinner diameter brushes like inks and pencils will benefit the most from position smoothing. I'll select a thin diameter brush, which will emphasize any wobble. If I reduce smoothing to zero, you'll see that the line is very wobbly. Certain drawing tablets can create wobbly or wavy lines as well. You might even have a shaky hand while drawing with the pen. Smoothing can help with that as well. I'll draw a really jittery stroke with my pen, and then one with the mouse. As you can see, there's a huge improvement in the line quality. Hold string allows you to see a string attached to your cursor. This time, the length of this string is determined by the strength slider. Pull on the string gently, and you will not move the cursor or make a mark. It's not until you drag the string until it becomes taut that you start to move the cursor and draw a line. Imagine the string is a chain attached to a rock in the sand. As you walk around the chain, the rock doesn't move. But as you drag it along with the chain, the rock begins to make lines in the sand. The benefit to using this mode is that even with a mouse or limited dexterity, I can draw very precisely. Rather than a string you pull, some applications might have a circle that surrounds the cursor. It's not until you reach the perimeter of this circle that the stroke begins to draw. Imagine you were using the cursor to push the ring. Your art application might have more smoothing modes than this. You can feel free to try them out on your own. Smoothing has a couple of different uses. The first way your brushes can benefit from smoothing is to add stability to your lines. This can make it easier to freehand draw straight lines and smooth curves. I'll set smoothing to 50%. If I draw some slow lines, the strokes are smoothed out, but not so much that it feels difficult to draw loosely with quicker strokes. If I set smoothing all the way up to 100% and I draw a circle with a line through it, the line is nearly straight and the curves are super smooth. However, the brush feels noticeably slower. The downside to adding a high smoothing value is that it stabilizes the brush at the expense of stroke accuracy. For example, smoothing augments the shape of your strokes by rounding off sharp corners. I will change my color to red and attempt to trace over the lines. The brush has been slowed down so much that it has become offset to my cursor and I am unable to trace accurately. In other words, what I am drawing on my tablet is not what I'm getting on my canvas. This can be a good thing if you want to draw super smooth lines and curves freehand, but if you want to do loose, quick gesture drawing, too much smoothing will make it feel impossible. I have more to say about the negative aspects of using smoothing. For that, check out my reference video. The second way you might use smoothing is to simulate the friction of media on the canvas. To give you an example, traditional media has varied levels of friction. Dragging a bristle brush loaded with thick oil paint across a dry canvas feels much different compared to scribbling quickly with a ballpoint pen on paper. Although the surface of most drawing tablets is fixed, various levels of friction can be simulated within your art application using the smoothing property. To really see the effect in action, you'll need to set smoothing to 50% or greater. But do keep in mind how higher values impact the accuracy of brushes. 
If a brush you're using feels sluggish, try reducing or removing smoothing if it's not adding any benefit to the brush. Those were the basics of working with brush smoothing. I hope this helps your drawings look more professional.